Hey everyone, it's Anita here from Flower Folk Farm. Just doing my Shed Wars tip this week. And this week I'm doing something a little bit different. This is the first time I've tried it. Uh, it's something that I have seen done on the internet before on YouTube. And I wanted to give it a try for myself because I'm growing a number of different varieties of sunflowers this season uh, for seeds, for pollinators, to encourage the pollinators in the garden but also to eat, which is something very different. And I thought, what better space to do it than Shed Wars 21. So I'm sharing with you today my tip on how to eat sunflowers. growing sunflowers they do like a fair bit of water just as they're starting off as little seedlings so I prefer to do mine in pots and you'll see I've got a little one germinated here this one's a late one I actually put this is a second lot of sunflowers that I decided to do but I would normally plant these once they're at least double that size so for a couple of reasons it's a little bit more mature so it'll cope with um, a bit more banging around by wind and weather but also it'll cope with pests a little bit better when you actually plant sunflowers directly in the ground they are very susceptible to pests and snails and slugs if you are going to do that i would suggest that you have a look at my uh, channel further back you'll find a really good recipe for a slug and snail and earwig solution that is really cheap and really easy to put together. I'll put the link down below for you and if you are going to plant sunflowers in the ground directly by seed please utilize that that uh, slug trap because you'll have way better results. So once you've planted them in the garden, they will take off fairly quickly. Make sure you do uh, look after them with a fair bit of water initially and you'll get really good results. Once the sunflower head actually gets to this sort of size, for mine, I've got giant Russians planted, you'll see that the seed pods here are white. As soon as you can see white seed heads, they are ready to harvest to be eaten. If you let them go too long, they become very fibrous when you eat them. They're fibrous enough as it is. You don't want to let them go too far. And of course, what you would have just seen before is that once they're black, they're really just, you can only utilize them for seed really. They're not, they're not good for, to fry on the barbecue at that point. So the earlier you can get them when they're at this point, when they're white, the tastier they are. The texture is a lot like corn. However, the taste is very much like a sunflower seed. So you get a bit of a mix of the crunch of corn, but the taste of sunflower seeds. So give it a go. It's really yummy, very nutritious. Of course, we know sunflower seeds are, are really amazing for your health. So why not give it a go? Put yourself out there a little bit, try something different and uh, try sunflowers. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.